everybody. It is Sunday morning. Welcome to Ben's Brick Designs. I'm Ben. Um, thanks for being here. Um, so, to start off with, I'm going to go ahead and give a little bit of bad news. I know that we had a, um, I had a stream scheduled for Thursday night, but um, yesterday we had made the decision, or early in the week we had made the decision to put down our dog. Um, so it was a little rough um, Saturday morning and today still. And uh, Thursday we were just kind of in the midst of it and we had some people over to sort of uh, commiserate and whatever. Um, so it was, it's been a rough week, um, but Lego building does go on. Um, so thanks for being here. That's all I'll mention of it. And we'll go forward with, um, the stream today. So I also had a bit of fun. A friend of mine found one of these at our local Lego store. So he grabbed one for me as an engagement present. So I appreciate that. Thank you again, Josh. Uh, please visit him at joshgilson.com. He's the one responsible for helping me set up the, the graphics for the channel and um, uh, done some other great stuff for the lug. Um, good dude. Um, check him out. Um, he also has a BrickLink shop. If you look up uh, Josh's Bricks um, and maybe purchase some stuff from him, that'd be great. Um, so yeah, so we got this, but I don't plan on building this today. I don't even know if I'll open it. Um, I'm not one for collecting usually. But I have no real need for any of these figures, and I already got a couple sets that had the ATRT in it. And I'm not really a fan of this ATRT; it's a little big. Um, but the the swoop bike is pretty good. Um, I don't need any more battle droids, but I don't know. We'll see. I might just bust it open. Who knows? There's not a whole lot to build. A lot of people were getting these in giant armies for you know, to flex on Instagram to show that they've got 5,000, you know, 501st troops. So we're going to set this aside for now. And the whole reason we're here today is Razor Crest. Um, I was, I got this last, I got this actually, we could have been doing this Thursday and I got it Thursday, but at the same time, I'm like, I still need to actually do the instructions for a friend of mine. So I was really thinking of doing that. Um, it's taking up the whole build screen, but we'll cut into it. I probably should have the camera like above, like way up here. Um, so yeah, I'm also in the middle of doing a big build now because it's ship timber. And I have to build a very big spaceship for ship timber. September. Um, all right. So here's first of all. Here's I still have. I got the free. This is how long ago I ordered it. This is the Easter egg, and then you get the poly bag. That's the little bunny. So this is the second one of these I got. So that's fun. I think the Easter eggs went to my stepmom. She wanted it. And here is the razor crest. Hooray! That only took. Uh, six months to get new box for the cat. I totally shifted the computer. That's fine. So here's your Razor Crest. Um, that's the other side. That's the front. Now this set is a thousand pieces. Um, it is probably about half the size of the um, the UCS one that everybody seems floating around by uh, Jalen, by Rich Boy, Rich Boy J, at all. Like, I think a million people have built one of these. So, um, yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, good morning, Travis. Yeah, so I'm doing my ship timber is going to be, for those of you who don't know, uh, ship timber, a ship, capital letter ship, is a serious, seriously huge investment in parts or pieces. Um, it is to denote some sort of giant spaceship. Um, it has to be a hundred studs long, and I think technically has to be swooshable. So you have to be able to pick it up with one hand and it not be like supported by a bunch of things holding it on a table. So you have to be able to pick it up with one hand and kind of move it around without it falling apart. So I'm in the middle of building a frame for it. And I think I'm going to do, because I've never built one before, I'm going to do a Vic Viper cruiser. 
So it's going to be a Vic Viper ship with the two prongs and the cockpit middle and the wings and then the tail fin. But it's going to be cruiser size. Or I guess I could guess at that size maybe Corvette size or frigate size. I'm trying to determine my you know terminology. It's going to be big and it's going to have maybe I don't know six or seven people in it. Um, so we'll see. Oh look at that bag one right off the bat. The rest of these can be dumped unless there's a small bag one. Bag two. So this set came out. Oh I didn't even check. It is the Razor Crest. It is not. The Mandalorian Bounty Hunter craft or whatever. Ooh, a printed cockpit. I like. I don't like that it wasn't in a bag. So it may have gotten buffed and scratched and stuff. Hey, Kodiak, thanks for being here. Yeah, we've had a, a rough couple days, so I'm letting Beth sleep. Um, she needs it. We both do. Instructions in the bag. I think I might actually put stickers on this one because I think I'm gonna keep this one together. Um, I'm gonna put these in here. The other thing I'm doing today I'm not sure how much I need to talk about this, or I can talk about this, but our lug bulk order has come in today. And I'm very excited to be able to go pick it up and help sort. So I'm a small group of people that are allowed to help sort. So for those who don't know what lug bulk is, carrier, yeah, we'll see. Um, I don't think it's that size. I think it's much smaller than the carrier. Um, lug bulk is a program by which it's a really thick instruction booklet. Big stickers. Wow, look at those. Put those aside over here. Um, lug bulk is a is it's kind of a perk of being part of a, a lug, a user group, um, a recognized lug. Um, is able to have certain things available to it as part of a group um, and registered as a, as a registered group with LEGO. Um, they get project support every year, which is intended to be gathered by like the ambassador to the group and then provided, given out to members of the LUG um, under the uh, auspices that it will be used to create models and uh, sets and displays for events that the public can um, view. Um, so it's uh, and um, so we get some of that. We did. It used to be a little more, and we would get sets, and we would get uh, loose, we would get bags like this, right? Not full sets, but just bags, and then we would part them out. We'd have them as like prizes for things at meetings and then the idea is Leo gives to these groups these groups build these great things they take them to these events people go to these events it's good advertising for um, Lego it's good PR for them it's good for everybody everybody gets Lego so there's no real preamble for this by the looks of it um, so another one of the um, perks is there's this thing called lug bulk which offers users to be able to buy parts at a discount, right? Because you are buying them in a large amount. So the, the lug gets together and uh, group purchasing power basically. So 20, 30 people get together and they spend X amount to buy bricks. Now, this is also meant not to be resold. So you don't buy a bunch of this and then stick it in your Bricklink store and sell it because you're getting it cheap. It's meant to be used for building displays. So I've been waiting because we usually get these in sometimes in June, sometimes earlier, sometimes later. I know one year we didn't get it till like October. The fact that we're getting it now amidst a global pandemic is really great. And my um, my chunk of it is going towards this model that I've kind of put on hold because I don't have the bricks for it. Um, 
don't know what that's going to be. I guess that's for the uh, cape, for the Mandalorian. So let's get into it, shall we? It tells you every bag has a purpose. Okay, thank you. So I'm excited because the large order came in, and they we need to sort. You need to sort it because it's hundreds and hundreds of. Well, it's probably not hundreds of different parts, but it's at least dozens and dozens of different elements that need to be sorted out into who bought what element. Um, and usually we have a big party and everybody gets together and it's a big sorting event. Everybody wears gloves and brings scales and um, we used to have it at a, a friend's business. She had a, a Lego play business, play by uh, educational area. Um, they don't have that anymore. We've had it at people's houses. Um, this year we're going to have to do it individually. So everybody would get, hi AutoCat, how's it going? Um, everybody's going to get nine or ten boxes and then packets of spreadsheets that say, for this element you need to set aside 100 for this person, 50 for this person, 500 for this person. Just fill up a bunch of Ziploc bags and then every person has their own sort of bag that you just then put their stuff in, bring it back to a central location, and then those people go and pick it up. This is a great mold for this scout trooper head. That is so, I don't know if you can see in there, but it's it's black inside. It's got great kind of double molding, like black on the out inside and white on the outside. I'm not going to be able to get it focused. Yeah. Anyway, it's really great. It's a nice scout uh, outfit. The print isn't too bad either. I like the back. He's got kind of angry, general angry face. Um, I'm gonna make him punch the child because that was part of his, one of these guys' bits in the show. So for those of you who are not aware, this is a the hero ship from the show The Mandalorian. And it is a, um, I don't think there's much, I got Fall Guys, nice. Um, it is a, uh, I don't exactly know what model it is. I think the model itself is called Razor Crest. It's a Razor Crest class something. But because there's no other ship like it around, it is just now the Razor Crest. So let's put him here. Um, he has a cape, which is in his box, but the way it's built reminds me a lot of, and they said it was an old piece of technology. Um, so I get the feeling that it could have been developed around the same time as let's say a, a lat gunship, but this was probably more a support craft. Um, it has some of the same features as a lat. Um, it's a little bigger. Um, it has a little more storage, but the way it's built is it has a similar sort of tall fuselage with a lot of underslung cargo area. Um, it's a singular cockpit, so this is more of a light freighter than it is a like a support craft. But um, I don't know. So there's no real. I don't think we know who the manufacturer is or anything like that. I don't think the lore is caught up with the show yet. And if it has, I'm not aware of it. I'll have to go look. If you have any information about that, let me know. Yeah, the slave one was a. It was an Osprey um, patrol craft, I think. Hi, Daily Brick. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. So I'm not going to get done with this today. I know I'm not. I'm going to do my hour and a half, but then I think I'm going to finish it probably tomorrow on um, Twitch only. So if you guys want to watch the finish tomorrow, I'm going to just go on Twitch and finish it out because um, I've got tomorrow off. So there's uh, Din Djarin, the Mandalorian. Um, Pretty good print. I think it's no different from his other print um, from the um, the Bandit ATST. 
Um, I'll have to go look, but there's a, in fact, let me go see if I've got him still. Because this will be the second one that I've got of him. Just making sure. Doesn't quite look the same. But this may be a different one. Because I've got a bunch of different Mandalorians. And I don't know which is which anymore. Oh, wait. It should be in my bag of microfibers. Because I was looking at these, I'm like, none of these guys are worth it. So my bag of microfibers. So I think what's going to happen, this is just a prediction. <sighs> this is from the ATST set, and this is from this set. So they're just exactly the same. Same back print, same cape, same helmet, same group on the back of the helmet, same black head. I think what they're going to do, and here's my prediction, and now I don't remember which is which, doesn't matter, is that because everyone's been out of shape because he got his Beskar armor halfway through, maybe, the series. Um, nice, Glenn, we can build together. Django Fett J vibing in his Nissan. Yeah, it, the model is Nissan. This is a B210. It's a 1978 Nissan B210. Um, these are the other Mando. These are the other Mandalorians that I had, and I knew it wasn't the right. These were all just in the battle pack. So, yeah. Um, so my theory is that they Lego is going to do a micro fighter of the Razor Crest for 2021, and in that set he will have his shiny silver Beskar armor. Just a theory. Because um, I, I don't think they're, first of all, I don't think they're going to not cash cow this thing to death. Um, oops. Especially since a new season's coming up and I've never seen a non-instruction before. I don't know that I've ever seen that. So there's a there's two little yellow holes right there and right there. Saying don't put anything in here. Leave this space open. Okay. It wouldn't surprise me if they were heavy on the Mando sets, but I don't know what they're going to do. You know what I'd like is maybe that prison ship, and we can get all those figures, the um, the Robot Zero and Bill Burr's character and the two uh, Twi'leks and the Devo is it Devonian, the, um, what's his name, Mr. Krabs, uh, oh, what's his name, Chris, help me out. Uh, the um, guy from Highlander, the the Cossack from the Highlander, the other guy with the cut neck, and um, anyway, he's gonna be a great figure, although he's not gonna be huge. Burke, I think his name was in the show. <clears throat> So I've been very excited to get this, and I've had kind of a hard time watching all the other YouTuber friends of mine and builders get it and just kind of be like, yeah, I'm getting it. We're going to stream it right now. I'm like, ah, it's not coming in the mail yet. Come on, man. 
and people beating the system by uh, ordering it from Amazon first. Dang it. Yeah, the guy, who, Clancy Brown. That's who, I'm thinking of the, the actor name, Clancy Brown. Does all the voices for characters. He was in Lost. He was in, he was the Devonian, the devil-looking alien in uh, that Mandalorian episode. He's got that gravelly voice. He was in Carnival, I think, that show, that short-lived awesome show on HBO. That like went nowhere and everybody was like, this is the greatest show ever. And then it went nowhere and everyone went, oh man, come on. And then canceled. Mm, and productions. Thanks for being here. Yeah, we still need to order our mic, Beth and I do, for our podcast. Um, I, I was overthinking the podcast and being like, we need all this, you know, if we're going to do this, then we're going to need this, and then we have to get this level of microphone, and then this level of, you know, we got to get this software, and then we've got to get, you know, I was just like, just, just get a mic, and the two of you just sit in the closet, because that's where the good sound is. And uh, just just do it. Just record it. If you want to get better at it, you can down the line. But let's just do this. Plus, then I can use the mic for, for here. I don't know where I'd put it. Maybe like off camera over here. Ugh. So I'm currently in the middle of watching, have you guys, the Broken Brick podcast. Nice. Um, I'm watching the High Score documentary on Netflix. I'm enjoying it so far. Learned some things about the video game industry. I've mostly learned that game developers are weirdos, and I'm here for it. Once again, if you're joining us, I got a Bible first as well this past week from a fellow LUG member, Josh. Go to joshgilson.com or check out his BrickLink store, Josh's Bricks, and throw him some love as he's thrown some love to the channel. Honestly, I would recommend, well, there's your problem. It's an engineering disaster podcast. It's very lax, very entertaining. Taking notes from them would probably be worthwhile if it seems they've done well for themselves. Cool. I'm all about, I've, I've fallen so far behind my podcast listening because I would listen to podcasts to and from work on my drive to work. And because now I don't go anywhere, I, I listen to like a podcast when I walk my dog in the morning. Um, and that's it, but that's like 15 minutes. So I've got, you know, I download several podcasts a day and they're each between 15 minutes and an hour and a half. I'm just so far behind. Um, I just need to make some time to listen to that. Cause then during the day I don't, you know, I work and then I watch YouTube videos, um, and then play video games. So six hours of editing. Ugh. No, thank you. I'm going to do the, let's record it and then let's, let's publish it. I don't know if we're going to have music to go with it at first or what, but you shall see. Yes, we shall see. And the continued failure of the V-22 Osprey, which is an aircraft that, spoilers, does none of the two things it was designed to do. Huh. Ironic given that the um, 
It doesn't do anything for the Lego group either. Ah. What the deuce? I missed. I did. Okay. I like dark tan and gray. It's just such a good look. I need more dark tan. So once I get my lug bolt, lug bulk, six hours of editing for a 16 minute podcast. That's about right. Um, I plan on running ours through the uh, find the spaces in between the speech and edit those out software, and then that's going to be it. And then we're going to push it out because I don't I don't want to spend too much time with it. I've already got other stuff I need to do. I'm trying to do more videos for this channel, straight videos, not streams. I don't know if you guys have seen those. I'm publishing them on Tuesdays. Um, so there's you know, a bit of vocal recording for that and then editing for that. Although I've got it down pretty well to a, I know how to do this. Here's the software. Here's what I need to do. Plug in these images, throw in the, uh, the video clip, and then be done. Oh, thank you very much. It's been fun. I've been wanting to do more kind of not stream videos, but I've never, I'm one of those people who are like, I don't want to make videos. I just don't. But I think, you know, having some sort of like little timeline or um, sped up thing is probably a, an okay thing to kind of break into it. Um, I don't get sets early enough to do reviews on them. So it's kind of like, what's the point? I see people doing these review uh, videos and I, I just don't understand why they're reviewing like five-year-old sets. I'm like, you do know that like a million people have already done this. If you're not going to be the first, be the best. And they're not even that good. Nothing against anybody who's doing them right now. I'm just saying it's kind of weird. Which is why I wanted to get the micro or the um, the Razor Crest really quickly or the 501st set. So it's like, be the first. You know, I'm not a recognized fan of, recognized fan media of Lego, recognized media fan of Lego, where you get sets early so you can review them, so you can do a, a video about them and talk about them and uh, get people to be aware of them. Um, so I just have to kind of do my own thing. But it's fun. I like doing those videos. Mostly, too, because um, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and I like doing the research on the ships. Um, that's one of my um, loves of doing for years, since, it was, since I was in grade school, and we'd take graph paper and design Federation class starships. Um, a friend of mine... Friend of Mama Production might be getting me some old space Lego. Sweet. It's like reviewing a 10 year old car. Great, but who are you helping? Yeah. It's one thing if you're doing like a how to fix this car, but if you're reviewing it, it's like the 1986 uh, Buick LeSable or something, and you're like, what? Who? It's not even a classic car. Although at this point, a 1986 car probably is. But I would love to get to the point where I could do this, you know, build and then have like a, a build channel where I get sets early and then, you know, say, hey, I'm going to do a build and then I'm going to review it and I'm going to talk about it. It's going to be live and I'll have people on and then have other, the other channel or the other stuff where I'm, where I'm still doing designing and you know, that kind of stuff and be have that be the only thing I ever do for the rest of my life. I think envy is a word you're looking for, but that might be splitting hairs. So that's fair. Do the things you enjoy. Yeah, real jealous of those folks getting sets. Yeah, I think, yeah, and you're right, Sleepy. I think jealousy is, jealous is of a thing and envious is of a, 
situation. Like you're envious of their life, but you are jealous of them having a certain thing. Um, I think. I know that's it's one of those words that it's like it could be used either way. Um, and people generally tend to do that. Um, but yeah, either way is good. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to finish this out maybe tomorrow if I don't get it done today on Twitch tomorrow. So if you haven't already followed me on Twitch, I'm gonna do this only on Twitch tomorrow. I know for um, Kodiak that doesn't matter because he's on Twitch right now, and I appreciate that. Jealousy is when you have something you don't want someone else to have, such as a partner or your home. Envy is when someone else has something that you want, such as a car or Lego sets. When you have something you don't want someone else. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got you. So, like, if you're if you're dating a person and somebody comes up and makes moves on that person, you get upset because you're jealous. It's like, I no, I don't want you. I don't want to share. Sharing. You don't want to share something. So if somebody tries to also have that, it's jealousy. Versus envy is like they just have something you want. I got you. Yeah, I've always tried to use the, the – and then I end up having to look it up every time anyway. Like the spelling of occasionally. I can never remember that. It's one of those things. I consider myself a fairly intelligent individual. But I, I can't, I don't know. So what do you all have planned for tomorrow? Anybody have some decent uh, Memorial, uh, Memorial Labor Day plans for tomorrow? We don't. We are going to sit around the house and be sad. Had to say, um, but also there's not really much we can do. I'm also, pro I mean, I'll be doing this tomorrow. I'll probably be sorting for our lug bulk, um, and I have that ship to build. This is going to be one big hollow ship, man. I tell you what. Try to keep it as light as possible. There's going to be nothing in it. Also have to build something for our September meeting, which I haven't. I've got the parts for that, but I need to figure out how to. Maybe I'll just throw those on to my big ship and say, hey, look, this is what I'm working on. You finally finished your book. All right, cool. Editing and polishing up. Neat. Are you? Do you have a publisher already? Or are you going to start sending out manuscripts? Do you have an agent? Is it going to be one of those things where you publish on Amazon or something? Or are you plan on doing it through a, a established publishing house? I mean, I guess if you don't have one yet, it's not. Not the plan. That reminds me. I got a friend, an old high school friend, who wrote a book, and I need to get back into. I was. I started reading it, and then I got a couple Star Wars books, and I'm like, oh, I'm excited to read these Star Wars books, and then I just forgot to get back into it. Plus, it's a PDF. I don't have a hard copy. Um, and I'm I, not a big fan of reading electronically. I try not to have my phone with me in bed, um, but I don't have another way to read this, so. 
whole big page just for these two little things. Okay. I made a book about under a fake name, Mr. Crumpets. All right. So there's other news. Um, Butt Chop, YouTuber Butt Chop, has started up the uh, signups already for the November 72-hour stream. Um, so again, like the one in July where it's 72 hours of Lego YouTubers. I'm not doing it for 72 hours straight. I'm just going to take two hours on Sunday, fit it into my own schedule. Um, I think that'll be fun. So I need to come up with something good to do for two hours in November. Um, I don't know if I'll get any cool sets by then. I was planning on doing the NES for Christmas, and I don't know if any other good sets are going to be coming out by then, but we'll see. And maybe I'll do a restream um, studio instead so I can have guests on. rather than just me talking for two hours, but I don't know. Oh, you got a three-hour slot? Cool. Self-publish on Amazon. I'm going to try and only make it 3 or $4 if I can, but money isn't my motivation. I want to tell stories, to engage readers, and invite logical discourse about modern things. Nice. Cool. You got it done in time. Brilliant. Well done. I like half-assed started writing a couple science fiction books and never really finished them. But it gave me good ideas to start doing comic books. So I, I did a couple comic books. I need a big separator. Based off of the stories that I made on the science fiction stories. So I'd really like to get back to that. I think it'd be fun. You just have to come up with a good story. Do some something robot-y. I believe. All right. Well, that's it. The bag one is in the books. And we got some. I like these pieces. That's your extra. Your uh, your pin connector, which is weird because it's not a connector. It only allows one half of a pin, so it's not really connecting it to anything. So I guess it's a bushing. I'm not really sure. And then claw and a brown lightsaber hilt. All right, everybody, watch your ears. I would use StreamYard, but I paid for Restream. expecting anybody when the doorbell just rang. Kaylee, I'll be right back. I'm going to go check on something. So don't anybody go anywhere. All right, and we're back. Uh, Ben's Brick Design opens a bag of chips, smuggles in the movie theater, 1080p ASMR, and lo-fi sounds to stuff your life. So yeah.
Um, so we, Beth, is doing something to memorialize our late dog. She is going to get some plush toys and tennis balls, put them outside in a box with a sign and a picture, and then post on our Facebook group that um, our dog loved playing with plushed animals and tennis balls and um, in honor of her, please come by and pick up a, a toy for your dog. So that would be fun. Oh my god, this thing is so adorable. I didn't realize how small it was. Look how small that is. I can't even really see how small that is compared to the Mando. And it's a little like rubbery head. Like the mold is, you can see the ears move a little bit. That's kind of adorable. It's really, really cute. Put him right there. He's so little. Mm. All right, back to it. Yeah, good doggo. She was a good dog. It's been a rough go these last 48 hours. I mean, we made the decision, Beth made the decision last week, and this whole last week's been kind of, ugh, not great. I would not recommend doing this. Wouldn't recommend for anybody. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. How are you? Yes, the child is so cute. I mean, this is my thumbnail. That's how big it is. It's so... I wish I had... I'm going to do this. Look how cute. Yep, that's totally worth the price, I'm guessing. Get some of these bigger pieces out of the way. So you can see all the smaller pieces. So how are you doing, Rachel? <laughs> so we should totally have you, Rachel, we should totally have you guys over. Uh, Chip and Paula were over the other day. Dan and Dara have been over. Um, got a nice six-foot table in the backyard. We just sit on the other sides of each other and hang out. Drink beverages and chat. Ooh, I don't have a bracket in that color. That's nice. I don't know what I'd use it for specifically, but that's nice to know that it's available. Okay, sticker number one in terms of placement. I need my brick separator for. I don't like that it's curved. It's going to be a problem when we apply it, but two and three. So two goes on the inside. Which means I don't really care about the placement. And three goes on the outside, which means I care slightly more about the placement. Oh, no, wait. Two different ones. Okay. Wow, glad I looked at that. I'd be mad at myself. If 
the thing is here. Okie day. Three and two. For your playability, it's probably going to be some sort of hallway for his cargo areas. We miss you guys too. Um, it's been just junky. Oh, and we also got our Chewy order. Cool. We got so many boxes, y'all, from Amazon to Chewy to Imperfect Foods. It's like we've had a couple friends move, and we're like, we have all the boxes. Please come get them. And they're good-sized boxes, too, because they're delivering, you know, dog food. So this has to be kind of big. Although I think this is dog toys. The aforementioned memorial dog toy basket. Ooh, that is not going together well. That was a weird fit on that. One, two, three. Yeah, as much as I believe, I want to believe that there will be a vaccine in November, I'm not going to get that one. I'm just hanging on to see if Andrew Lloyd Webber dies. And then I'll go with whatever one he gets if he doesn't. I'm glad I have this to do, though. Uh, I know a lot of people don't have, goodness, so many sub-assemblies. A lot of people don't have a hobby or a, a thing they can do to keep them occupied, and so their time in their house has been like a prison sentence, like home, home arrest, house arrest, and uh, they're not doing well. But they know that they're doing this for the good of other people, which makes it even kind of more sad that they're not doing well. While everybody else seems to want to just go and do whatever the hell they want. And it's, don't get me started. Good old classic chairs. Remember chairs? Remember when chairs were a piece? They're back. Okay, I've got to remember to do more Lego stuff tomorrow because I've got time. And I don't want to just sit around playing video games all day because that's what I end up doing. So I did something yesterday that I haven't done in a long time, and I watched a football game on television. Um, my daughter goes to college, and their team was playing, and her and she's in the band, and so the band was there, the pep band, um, because they aren't marching. So I was, you know, watching a college football game in the hopes that they would pan into the audience or pan into the crowd and show the, the band. And they did a couple times, and I think I saw her, but I wasn't sure. I wish they would show the band more, but, you know. Uh, first guest will be Canadian Fuzzy Brick Studio. Cool. Cool, cool, cool.
Oh my goodness. Okay. So there's that. People doing the right thing. Then yesterday we have Dumkirk. Yeah. Ugh. Are you talking about the um, the flotilla that sank on Lake Travis? I cannot even with these people. I just I don't understand. It's just like they wake up in the morning and go, "Yay, I'm dumb," and then try to rope as many people into it with them as they can. I had a theater director once tell me, and I don't know if she aped this phrase or what, but she's like, never underestimate the power of a lot of stupid people in one place. And that has always stuck with me, especially today. Especially in light of recent events. This is low-key one of my favorite pieces. That one by two slope with the panel on it. I just dig it the most. So for ship to uh, timber, I guess the rule is, because I haven't read up too much about it, for, uh, Travis, Synthetic Mason was telling me about it, and he's like, you of all people should be building ship timber, and I'm like, oh, I didn't even know that was a thing, honestly, but now I have to, thanks, you put that in my head. Um, I'm guessing it doesn't have to be light, it just has to be stable, so as long as you build it solidly and can pick it up, as, if, it, if it's heavy, it's heavy, but as long as it doesn't fall apart. <laughs> Yes, people are dumb and predictable in giant groups. There's a very good science fiction book called Foundation that is exactly about that. Humans are dumb and predictable. So again, if you are a fan of the channel, and I thank you for being here tomorrow, I will do this on Twitch. I don't know what time. Um, maybe about the same time, maybe 10 or 11 in the morning. I know we're going to chat with Beth's family probably about noonish, and I know I do have to sort um, for lug bulk. I don't want to put that off too long because I know people are waiting for their parts. Um, so I don't know. But I also don't want to not work on this. Like, I've been excited to put this together for a while, and I don't want to just, like, sit on it for a week. Yeah, I'm excited about that, Glenn. I saw the trailer for it, and that's one of those stories that I never thought would make a good movie or TV show or anything. Like, Asimov in general has been sort of hit or miss with me with their movies. You had Bicentennial Man, which wasn't bad, but it was a bit long. Um, they tried redoing iRobot, and I'm like, ugh. I think something smaller like Caves of Steel or something with um, the investigator and the robot. I forget the investigator's name, but uh, our Daniel Oliva, the robot, I think was the robot at the time. Um, I think that would be cool, but I was very excited to see that they were doing a Foundation series. Uh, that made me... Really excited. So that and Dune coming out. Lug bulk. Is that a question in productions? 
Were you not here when I was talking about lug bulk? Yeah. I will go over it again if you'd like, but I don't know if you're just saying the words or not. That's a weird thing for them to do, just kind of float it, not build anything on it just yet. Oh yeah, lug bulks are great. Um, I've been doing it for probably, I don't know, five years now maybe longer. Um, in fact, a lot of the ship, timber ship that I'm building is thanks to some lug bulk um, that's literally just been kind of sitting in bags. Like I haven't done anything with it. Um, but it's nice to have like a large amount of parts to be able to do something like that if you want to. Huh. I haven't played uh, Fallout 4. I'm kind of stuck on Battlefront right now, and um, I'm going to try to get... I unlocked the last thing you could unlock in Battlefront 2, um, the Darth Maul with the robot legs, Old Master Maul um, from Rebels. And um, now that that's done, I'm just going to probably primarily play um, Starfighter Assault in, in preparation for Squadrons. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to try to do, get back into Witcher and um, try to play that again because everyone says it's a great game, but like, it, I don't know, it kind of didn't grab me at first, but you know, it's an older game too, maybe that's it. Maybe I'm expecting too much out of it. stable. It's very stable. Building a big square. I'm sure all his guns are going to go right there. So I think I'm going to go till noon today and since it's 11.30 since I'm building. Y'all are stuck with me, although I may have to go get more coffee. when your brain just cannot focus on the piece you need to find. It's just like, I know it's right here. Uh, with that, I just faced him down with a mod which I have, which has a portable tank cannon. Chambered in, 88 millimeter. Think I won the showdown? Not entirely sure. Figuring out how to get a podcast on other places other than YouTube. Um, well, I think you've got to find a place that lists it. And you have to decide whether you want to do it for free or if you want to be have like a paid subscription which offers you more tools. Um, I just researched this myself and I honestly don't remember any of the names of them. Um, so best of luck. We need to do that too. I also need to work on some channel art, which I'm just going to do a simple like kind of photo silhouette of me and Beth and then some words above it. That's going to be it. Two. 
No, I meant the listing for the podcast. Um, most places will, you have to have a place that you host it, right? So you have to place, you have to be able to upload it somewhere. And then you subscribe to a service that then finds that listing and publishes it. So there's the, the places that publish it, you can get free ones that are just like, it'll push it out to different places, uh, iTunes, things like that. So they get picked up by podcast feeds. Um, but some offer more tools. So you pay for a subscription to them and they offer analytics and things like that. Um, it just depends on what you want out of it. Most people are gonna pick a free thing because they're just doing it for fun. That is my understanding of it. You can also just record the audio and push it up to YouTube, like you said. That piano sounds familiar. It sounds like um, sounds like Madness. You guys remember Madness, ska band from the '80s? Dun 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 dun. dun. I don't think you can ever really tell. On these. Which sides go in where I don't think it matters, but I would guess that there's a reason. One side is sticks out a little bit, but one step beyond. Do, 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 Yeah, I was a huge mad, uh, Madness fan for like a week. Um, I still am, but like I, at some point in college, I just went and found everything they'd ever done. Fancied myself a bit of a rude boy in college. I did. Got me some two tones. Got me a nice hat. Walked around with a suit on and some wingtips. Found some bands and colored some checkers onto them. White bands, black magic marker. Sometimes things happen. I really wish the air conditioning would kick in. It is hot. If you aren't familiar with Madness, go look them up. If you are, if you are into discovering new-ish music, they're not new, but you don't know them by now. Uh, House of Fun. Uh, Night Boat to Cairo. There's a whole
whole bunch of weird good songs. They were definitely kind of weird. I'm trying to appreciate the offset of the that snot build right there. I'm not really sure where that's going to go yet. This sub 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 assembly. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. It's like their their biggest hit was like had nothing to do with like it didn't sound ska at all. It was just like oh some weird British pop group. It's like eh, not really. It's like when the Cars had that hit Drive, and it's like well this sounds nothing like the Cars, and all the Cars fans were like what what is this song? I mean, we get it. It's not a bad song, but wow, this, it's not even Rick Ocasek singing it. That's how I felt about Madness and Our House. I do want to get some chalk and just go into in front of Our House over here and just write Our House. I think that'd be funny. There's going to be like five people in the street that get it, maybe. Assembly. This is where we used to sleep. Our house was our castle and our keep. Our house. Our mom, she's so house proud. Always something happening, and it's usually quite loud. And now I'm going to be delisted. So one back there. This is neat that they're using these as like hold this connection together. Except it's a pain in the butt to get in there. There we go. So where are you at on yours, Glenn? Are you working on yours? What bag are you on? Your bag. What's your bag? Oh, there's the AC. Thank goodness. These lights are nice, but they get hot. And the, the socket warning on the back says CFL only. And I'm like, can I not use LEDs here? Maybe they just mean no incandescence. But man, I'd like to replace these with LEDs. That and I think they'll last longer. At some point, these are all going to go out. A few steps behind. All right. Well, you know I've made mistakes along the way, so at some point, I'm going to have to stop and go back and fix it. You can catch up then. So do we know um, anything that's coming out closer to November, end of November, Thanksgiving? Do we have like a, does anybody know of a schedule of releases? Like I know there was excitement about 501st and some Star Wars sets and stuff for the last three months, their summer release. But if there's anything that I could go ahead and try to start saving up for and get right away, that would be a nice one to do a November 20th, 72-hour 
stream and have it be like a relevantly new set. That'd be nice. Otherwise, I'm going to stick you guys with 72 or with two hours of microfighter design again. Or what I could do, I guess, is I could do two hours of microfighter building. Hmm. I don't know what people would hate more. Still waiting for the Sesame Street set. Elf Clubhouse. Elf Clubhouse? That's what's coming out then? Hi, Josh, by the way. Everybody, Josh, in uh, chat right now on YouTube um, is the Josh of joshgilson.com. Please go check him out on his site and his Bricklink store where you can undoubtedly find select deals. I don't know. <laughs> There's a Sesame Street set coming out. Oh, Moss Isley Cantina set. I don't know if I saw that. I don't know if I want that one. Is that coming out near the end of November? I mean, I guess if there's a bunch of cool minifigs in it, because I don't need more tan. And I don't know that I want another Star Wars set that I'm going to put together and just leave. But, I don't know. I need some more top-of-the-shelf space. Because that seems like one that you'd want to stick, you'd want to leave together. Because it's a collector's version or whatever. This is just going to get magical right here, isn't it? So that's going to go in there. Yep. You missed it. I see you. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. You know what? I'm on wireless. I apologize, everybody. Frick. Well, I have it plugged in and I didn't turn it on. If I lose y'all, I'm going to check. I may have just lost y'all. <laughs> 